Asbury. Not Asbury. Asbury. Large magical beast. Cold. HD. 4D10 plus 8. Average 30 hit points. Bronze Serpent. 16D10. 88 average. Initiative plus 9. Now, where's that other one? There it is. Yeah, the real doppelganger. That's what I needed. His AC is 14. I'm tired of searching and searching sometimes. I mean, I get tired of it. So I lost the page. Here we go. Alright, what is. Okay, the swim identity, so when he attacks. Kills, you can assume your identity. Uh, brain lock, what was that? Oh, yeah, he's lawful evil. When planning out missions, when playing the game, I mean, my dungeon screen. Pardon the mess, boys and girls. But, you know, holiday free cleaning, cleaning, you know, spring cleaning in the wintertime. My dungeon screen. Covers quite a bit. Instantly works. Okay. Um, but we'll touch on that another time. But as much room as I have with that, I don't need a pile of books, and I don't need to look at how I have things mapped out. And I hate having the books over there so that they'd see that I'm going in and out of certain books. So what I did was. I created this. This is your monster reference card booklet. And I picked this little bad boy up from Staples. It ran me, I think, two bucks. Five at the most. But I think it was like two, three bucks. Now, I've also put a good two, three hours into it. But what DM doesn't put time into their game? I mean, this three hours let's say I did while working but it was in like gaps so I mean spare the details I put this together so I don't need to go sitting there searching and sifting let's say I forgot okay this is what I plan on putting in a mission and I forgot to put this stat what the hell is this guy's AC okay the ogre AC is 16 duh so that's why I did this. Like I said, you pick this little bad boy up at Staples, and uh, you just, what I did was I go through, I put in, mon initially I started off with like monsters that I used all the time, like the ghouls, the ghasts, zombies, and over time, I've added more, like you have the orc, I played a campaign with an owl bear, so I threw that in there. Then I said, you know what, let me just put a whole bunch of them. Shadow, skeletons we know, sturges we know, whites we know, willow wisp that's coming. I put this little booklet together so I didn't have to go sifting and searching and searching and sifting through pages and pages of monsters. I worked once and got that out of the way. So now whenever I need to reference something, let's say, where's the moon rat? There's the stats. I don't have to sit there and write it in whenever I'm making an adventure for the guys, or if we're playing randomly, I don't have to sit there and flip through the pages and try to find where this moon rat is and what are its stats and under what conditions do the moon rats actually become moon rats and what are their special abilities. What I do is like for the chain goblin for instance I have all his stats that's HP initiative speed armor class attack plus bonuses damages on those attacks his specials which we'll get into a second and all his saves and whatever immunities it has and etc etc and then the specials I put minor details on the back now if I need to reference the monster manuals then I go back to the monster manual um, I 
decided to do this, like I said, because I don't like the clutter of books being right here. Two, I don't like my players seeing what I'm reaching for. Three, I also host... Well, I host games in here. This is why the room's a mess. Because <clears throat> I'm changing everything over there behind the camera. It's just a little nuts right now. But I also go to games at other people's houses. So keep it a little bit portable I got this instead of like the monster manuals and if I need one they have them but at the same time I'm running the campaign it's like alright I know I need the stats for this Rockville so Rockville, Gargoyle, you know one of those things <laughs> or I need the specs of course back there it's right there and I can run it through and that's it and if you're playing a random dungeon let's say like there's been nights where I've had alright just chosen a map out of my little inventory of maps all right guys this is what we're doing we're in town yada 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 our goal is to find this one parchment because the wizard in town needs it and it's a utmost emergency because of x y and z and the necromancer will succeed at his task if the wizard doesn't get the scroll so it's like a lead on plus it builds the story but it's not something plan so it's like boom here you go this is the map all right you enter here okay this room just off the top is like this and this and this and then you have two dread guards to fight i can re I, I i just play through it and then what i have here in the corner is a challenge rating so what i do is on the side just keep track of the challenge ratings i calculate the xp either after the game or later on that day or week or whatever and then upon the next session reward everything when time comes but I find this little handy dandy book although it requires a little work to be very very handy like I said portable you guys don't see what you're looking through and on a round note you can just pop her open flip the page and what do we have a bar a bargoel I don't know how to pronounce it that's the floating head things with the green wings, and the green com red wings for ears and green com yeah those things. You'd have to sit there and like flip through the monster manual and like really, really, really search and then find out. Oh, if I get if I get attacked by that, um, or it, what what about was shrieking? I mean, it's in there, but when it shrieks, what happens? This little book will save you a bunch of time for. Because, I mean, you, you'll know the monsters, but then at the same time, it'd be nice to have a little reference guide, and just in case you need any of the information, it'll be there. Quick rolls. I mean, the hit dice are there, so you know what's going on there. And... Yeah, that's the end of that. Alright, guys, um, I just wanted to show off this little bad boy. I'm going to be working on the Dungeon Master screen once I finish prettying it up just a little bit more. I mean, it's just a big plain white board right now, and I just, I mean, it's filled with fun. Filled with lots of fun. Like, like lots of fun. Lots of fun. But, we're not there yet. We're not, see how I'm saying? Those random maps. This is actually in the middle of an adventure that we're working on right now, and I got more stuff to put in, but. This is so much easier behind this than this is. You dig? Alright, thanks for the love, spending this much time. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button yep, down there until YouTube changes this format again. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, if you want more tips and hints. I'm actually working... Well, okay. I'm actually working on a website nothing major but I'm working on a website where I'll be able to drop links this because I found out I'm limited to like that much in the descriptions so what I'm planning on doing is keeping the description short with a link to the website so you can view the video again and all the details below I'm not announcing the name yet if you're very intelligent you'll probably figure it out it has something to do with my name dot blogspot dot com but right now, it's in the works, it's in its infancy, nothing's posted, but it's coming soon. Probably, I'm going to Paris 
the second week of January, so it'll be probably coming into full effect and full swing right after I get back on January 22nd. So until, I'm not, I'm not leaving you guys yet, I'm, I'm working on some videos, we're going to schedule a whole bunch of stuff, so this way you still have some fun while I'm over there, but the website will be, yeah. So anyway, off that, back onto this. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you're using for quick reference guides. Um, yeah, that's all, <laughs> all I gotta say right now. Okay, folks, thanks for coming by. Like I said, hit the subscribe button. Um, when the time comes, I'm gonna put a little thing right there. So if you're on this, you can click that to see the DM screen in full effect being built. And, uh, and I built that thing for less than 20 bucks. So that video comes over there. Yeah, right there. And that's all I have to say. So thanks for coming by. And uh, make sure you check out Checks for Traps because I'm um, working on more of those as we speak as well. Alright, D20RP Gamer, out.